Hey guys, so today I got a sunbeam snake. Um, I've always wanted one. Uh, even though I live in Asia and uh, sunbeam snakes are from Thailand, I never specifically went out and looked for one. I did have an I did have an, an obsession with rhino rat snakes for a bit before. Um, even though I already sold it all because my mom really hated them, but um. I got a sunbeam snake now. I'm so glad. I actually wanted it for ages. And I, I realized, you know, I don't get this chance when I go to the U.S. Anyways, he's in a snake bag right now. Open him up. Sorry, um, it took a minute. Um, that was uh, my um, white tree frog, Australian white tree frog. Um, I got a male specifically. Uh, I think I'll be getting another one as well, just to have it there. Um, he's down there in the, there, that, there, yeah, right there, that terrium. Uh, he's soaking in his water dish and he's calling out because it's currently raining. For those of you who don't know, white tree frogs actually call not just for mating, but also when it's raining or before it rains. He's been calling this whole entire morning and then it rained in the afternoon. Anyways, see if you guys can see in there. There we go. Hey, buddy. Oh. It's not that bad. Um, he is a captive bred. Hi, hi. He is a captive bred uh, sunbeam snake. So, you know, he's pretty used to being handled, as you could tell. He's not going crazy right now. He's not aggressive. Um, they told me they were, they were feeding him on pinkies, which I could kind of believe because he has a nice, thick body. So it shows that he's been well fed. Um, there we go. If he could, could you stop for a second, honey? I know you've been trapped in a bag for long, but people want to see your cute little beautiful face. Let's see if you can see his face. A bit. Not really. Okay. Um. Hmm. That just doesn't, it just doesn't show the, um, colors. He's unsexed, so, um, I don't know if I want to sex it or not. Probably not today. I'll find out sometime. They have a really cute little flat face. They're burrowing snakes, you could tell by how he just did that with my f fingers. See, he has a really cute little face. Those flat little faces that uh, most uh, Samboas would have. Um, let's see if this works. Uh, for those of you who do not know, sunbeam snakes uh, have, a, uh, have a glow to them. Uh, there we go, you see that? You see that? Ah, yeah. He likes to crawl around. Even though these guys are like uh, used to being handled, they definitely are not the easiest handling snakes. They do like to crawl around a lot. But can you see? Right. Okay, yeah. Nice little kiss right there. Um, can you see? There's a rainbow. Woof. There's a rainbow glow to him. You see that right there? So it's the same as rainbow boas, except for these guys are black color, and they have a white belly. They look so good. I love them. They're so beautiful. You're beautiful. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, buddy. Um, I'm going to let him back in his tank now. Um, but if you guys have any questions about uh, the sunbeam snakes, I could tell you. I've done my favorite. Someone asked me before, how do I know about all these reptiles, and I could just get them whenever I want. Well, um... I've done so many research on sunbeam snakes, and um, I've had lots of experience with Asian rat snakes and stuff. I've never had a uh, sunbeam snake, but I've had a little bit of experience with them. Not too much, so. But I do know what I'm doing. Um, he's a cute little guy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't know what to name him yet. Um, I thought of the name Licorice cute. But yeah. 
There we go. It's a sunbeam stick. Bye.